Welcome to uh, today's form builder session. Uh, we are going to be looking into the question types and uh, the various lettering type. And uh, as mentioned during uh, the previous uh, form builder session uh, or form creation session, we have several question types and lettering types available to structure the forms effectively for data correction. I am going to take you through one of the forms where these question types and uh, lettering types have been applied uh, so that we can see how they look like. And uh, I'll go right away and uh, have the first uh, question type, which is the encounter location. So as you can see for the encounter location, this type of question helps capture the location where the encounter took place. And the question type if, for this is encounter location, and the red type is basically the UI select extended. And as you can see now, we have a list here. Uh, and this would basically now represent the list of facilities, for example, or hospitals where the encounter took place. If we go to the interactive builder and look at the same or check the same, we will be able to see what we have under the question type is encounter location. And what we put under the red type is the UI select extended. So let's go to the next one quickly. This is an encounter date time for capturing the date and time the encounter. And the red link type basically is, is the date. Next is the encounter provider. And the encounter provider captures the healthcare provider responsible for the encounter. It's the question type of our encounter provider and the red link type is similar to the one for the encounter location. So it basically provides you a UI select extended uh, with the list of healthcare uh, providers uh, responsible for this encounter. Uh, I want us to move on to something else. Uh, and here we are going to be looking into the OPS. So OPS captures clinical observation or measurement. And uh, for example, we have uh, vital signs and symptoms. Here I have just used the, the vital signs. And we can see that this, uh, the red line type is a number. Uh, again, if we can quickly look into this, uh, the patient vitals. Let's see how. Yes, you can see the question type and the rendering type is number. Um, and this applies also for the temperature. Um, and the patient details, we do have uh, the rendering uh, type kind of. Uh, of question that is number. So here, if you want to capture number of siblings, you can have this type of modeling type. Smoking status, uh, let us let you button for selecting a single option from a list of choices. So the red button, you can only capture uh, one or single option from the list that you have been given. And this is just an example. So uh moving on this is now a type of a drop down menu where you select one option from the list it's more similar to the smoking status but this one gives you a drop down option and the daring type is the type select so you can select uh, also uh, one of the options uh, when you use this type of question and again when you Go to the interactive builder, you are able to see that uh, just the same way we have seen with the rest. So lettering type is select, question type uh, is OPS. And let's look at uh, something else here. So uh, we have another question type, which is OPS group. So for the OPS group, uh, it helps really group multiple related observations under a single parent, allowing for a structured data correction. Um, for example, you might want to have 
uh, systolic and uh, diastolic uh, blood pressure readings uh, just captured at the acigo parent. And here is also another example that I have used uh, presenting conprints. So what we have grouped here together is the uh, signs and symptoms of COVID and the date of onset for those signs and symptoms. Uh, as you can see, these are two different questions, but they have been grouped together uh, because they are related and now they have just one parent. Um, so individually for this question, this is a multi-select as you can see, and it's a knobs uh, in terms of question type. And uh, this is uh, also an observation question um, whose uh, redaling type is of the type date. And so you are able to capture the date and here you are able to capture multi-select uh, or multiple uh, selections. Let me move on now to the next one. Uh, this is really uh, a similar kind of uh, question type that is the OBS group. And uh, here I want to show you, or you can see we have now three questions uh, still allowed COVID-19. This is for COVID-19 test. We do have uh, the question allowed uh, testing, whether one was tested for COVID-19, uh, the test done, and uh, the test result. So you can see all these three are really related and that is why we have grouped them together uh, using the OBS group. Uh, so briefly let us see how the OBS group type of question uh, on the interactive builder looks like. So we have the COVID-19 sign and we have the onset but these two have been grouped as the one parent uh, if you go to the interactive builder, uh, basically you can see we only have one uh, question here and uh, it's representing the COVID-19 set with the knobs group uh, question type and on the schema itself, I want to show you the part of the schema that have this question here if you go. So this is the question allowed presenting complaints. Uh, as you can see on the preview and it has grouped uh, these two questions again using OPS group uh, and lettering as a group. So we have the onset date here you can see and these are the signs and symptoms of, of COVID. We also do have workspace launcher and uh, for workspace launcher, uh, one is able really to just launch your workspace uh, from the form uh, when you have this feature uh, in your in your form. And uh, we will not be able to demonstrate it from the form builder. This is when now you go to uh, the workspace itself or as you are filling your form uh, in your workflow. When you have this workspace launcher, it basically oops, opens for you the the orders. Uh, there's another uh, lettering type of problem, and uh, uh, this one uh, read us a field for selecting and recording the medical problems or diagnosis. Um, so what you have here is the problems and uh, if I can go to the interactive builder, let's just quickly look into this. Uh, we will see that the question type is OPS. And uh, the rendering type that we have used here is a uh, problem. And we have, we have, or we need to have a, a, a backing concept with the problem list, which you can see now displayed here. 
this is the, the problem list. Um, moving on, let us look at the medication. Again, this is more similar to the one that we have under the problem, but this looks into uh, the drugs. So it led us a control for checking uh, or for selecting drugs from a prescribed list or set uh, that is predefined. Again, we'll see that the rendering type now is not of the type drug and uh, question type uh, is also an OBS. So you can see now we have a list of drugs here. And uh, when we go to the interactive builder, um, under medication, we have the drug and we also have the list of medications um, or we need to have a concept that has um, the list of medications, uh, which now we are able to see listed here. Okay, so next is just a type uh, that is very common, uh, which is known as uh, the multi checkbox. And this basically led us uh, set of checkboxes allowing users to select multiple options so if for example a patient is being referred for several uh, services you can see we have used this as an example and one is able now or the users are now able to capture those services uh, in their form or in their system um, we do have text area type that is basically used for comments, descriptions, or any input lettering requiring more space. As you can see, we have uh, enough space here. If, for example, a clinician wants to summarize the visits, they can use this to um, basically uh, capture all that information. Um, I wanted to show you also the single line text input field for short text responses. So this is, as you can see, we have the two here. This is the text rendering type and this is the text area. So text area really give you more space or more room to capture um, longer text responses. But this one is where you will really just have uh, short text responses. Um, finally, I wanted us to look at also um, another lettering type of type file, uh, which allows users to upload documents, images, or other file types. Um, and this one led us now as uh, file upload uh, control. So again, if you use this you're able to capture an image or to upload your image to the system um that's all that i wanted to show you uh, there is much more uh, with regard to uh, the various question types and uh, also the uh, rendering types and, but for now uh, this is this is uh, this is all that we have to cover and uh, you can explore much more uh, in our wiki page, OpenMRS wiki page, to see additional or more detailed information regarding these question types and uh, the rendering types. I hope you enjoyed the session. Bye bye.